Okay, welcome back. So this is part 14 of my complete upload site tutorial series. And in the last video, we pretty much finished up our uh, form, our actual form, to register users. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually get to our PHP scripting. So the very first thing I'm going to do is, uh, what I forgot to do earlier, is I'm going to go to the uh, layout.css page. And in our left column and our right column under our content, our wrapper content, uh, we're going to set the height to min dash height. So we're just going to change. Whoop, we're just going to change this little tiny thing right here. We're just going to add this to the very front of both of our heights. So what that's going to do is it's going to make it so our uh, content can automatically our our content area, this entire 200 pixel box right here, it'll expand downward uh, depending on the amount of content. But at the very least, it will be this size. So this size. Uh, so yeah, that I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight our entire form uh, from the form start to the form end. I'm going to hit Control X. Now inside of here, we're going to actually begin our PHP scripting. So we're going to throw in our PHP tags, and the first thing we're going to do in here is we're going to create a form variable, and we're just going to paste in our entire form right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a simple check to make sure that the register button on our page to make sure it's been clicked. And if it hasn't been clicked, we're just going to display the form. So dollar sign underscore post, post, and then your brackets, and then inside your brackets you have your quotation marks, and the uh, value inside of here is just register button. Now the value is register button because right here the name of our button is register button. So we have to check for that. So uh, we're going to throw in our brackets and we're going to put in an else. So our else is simply just going to display the form. So dollar sign form. We're just going to echo that out. So if our register button has been clicked, we're going to run this block of code, which right now is nothing. But if it hasn't been clicked, we're just going to display the form. <clears throat> now, if the button has been clicked, we want to get the information from the, uh, the values from the various fields in our table, so or our uh, our form. So we're going to get the user, the username, which I'm going to store. In a, we're going to store all these in different uh, variables, and the username one I'm just going to call user here. So username, and right here I put username. So we scroll up. The name of our username box is username. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. Then we have our email and email right here. And then we have password and password. Now, I'm putting these here because these are the names of the variables are and the fields, and we're storing them in these variables. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to run two checks. Now, the first check is going to check and see if the username uh, is equal to username right here if it's equal to this username because if you just click register it'll automatically send these three values as the username value, the email, and the password values so if, the, if it is those values we're just going to make it equal to nothing so right there and then simply enter and we're going to say dollar sign user equals nothing so we're just going to set it just like this and I'm just going to copy and paste this and paste it right here and we're going to change all of these to email so uh, the reason we're only doing the email and the password, or the email and the username rather, sorry, is because some people, idiotically, they do use password as their password, and that's entirely up to them. We're not going to make it so you can't do that. Although if you wanted to, you can, because it's a very easy password to guess. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to put in another if statement, and we're going to make sure that the username and the password and the email is supplied. Okay, so right here we have dollar sign username, user, and these are two and signs. That's shift seven on your keyboard uh, right here. And then so what this check does, this if statement does, is it makes sure it makes sure that uh, these three values are submitted, that the values are found, so you can't leave the form blank. And then we're just going to put in an else and an echo. 
And inside of our echo, we're just going to say, you did not fill out the form. Or you did not fill in the required fields. And then dollar sign form. So we're just going to check for the form. Or our, uh, our fields are, some, are uh, filled in. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run another check. And in the register process, really, it's just a bunch of checks, uh, which is, I definitely recommend, uh, because you want to make sure all the information that's supplied is valid. So uh, we're going to uh, put in here. And inside of our if statement right here, uh, we're going to put in our uh, check to make sure that a valid email is supplied. So in order for an email to be valid, it has to have at least two things. It has to have an at sign and a period. Now, to check for these, we're going to use the str str function. Uh, it's built into PHP, so you'll automatically have it. So, right here, uh, you can see Dreamweaver has this nice little pop-out things uh, for almost every function that PHP has, which is, is very handy. Um, and you can see right here, it says needle and haystack. Now, you may be familiar with the phrase, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack, which... So your haystack is your large value that you want to search for something in it. And your needle is what you're searching for. So we're, our large value is our email because we want to search through our email value. And the needle is our at sign. We want to make sure that there's an at sign inside of our email. And then we're going to put two and signs. And if you want, you can type it out again or you can just paste it. And we're going to change the at sign to a period. Because in order for an email to be valid, it must have these two things. And make sure you have the correct amount of parentheses right here, uh, because the str function, str str function, has to have uh, parentheses around its content. So the message we're going to display, if this is not true, if it's not a valid email, we're just going to say uh, that is not a valid email, and then dollar sign form. So we'll have our form displayed. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start connecting to our database. So we're going to require, and this is going to be our, our design directory. We're going to require our connect.php file, which is inside of our design directory. So design forward slash. So it's inside of our design directory, and then it's called connect.php. So that's going to connect us to our database. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a query. And our query is going to be stored in a variable called query. And we're going to say MySQL underscore query, semicolon. And inside of here, we have our double quotes. And we're going to say select star from users. And I'm going to explain all of this in a moment. I'm just going to type it all first. So select all from users where username equals, oh, you guys can't see that, sorry, where username equals dollar sign user. So what, what this query is going to do is it's going to select star or select everything, all the values and fields from our database table called users. So we're going to select everything from our users table, but only where the username is equal to the username that is provided. So like say I tried to register with the username basics Nick, which obviously it's already uh, created. So you can see right here, because this is the default username that I put in, or that I inserted when we created the table. Uh, so that is obviously already in the table, in the uh, table, database table, in the database. So we don't want to be able to have, we don't want to let people have the same usernames as a different user. So that's what we're doing here. We're running a check to make, we're running a query to make sure that the username is not already taken. <coughs> now we're going to create another variable. We we'll call it numrows, and we're going to say MySQL underscore num underscore rows, and in here we just have our query. Now, the numRows function, what it does is it allows you to, or what it returns, it returns a single value, either a 0 or a 1, true or false, um, or false or true, because 0 is false. Um, it's going to return, the if the query returns a 0, that means the username is not found in the database. That means uh, the username is not already taken, so then we can, the user, whoever is trying to register on your site, they can use this uh, this value. 
Um, so we'll stop this video here. In the next video, we will continue on with our registration.